message of the day. So today I woke up and I was angry. So I decided to choose anger. In the society that we grew up in, there's a negative connotation to anger. When in reality, anger can be your best friend in a way, if you use it correctly. So when I chose anger, I decided to redirect and transmute that anger into other things. After I woke up, I put on some music and I had a good ass workout. For all my guys who are watching this, you as a man, the world especially doesn't want you to be angry because anger is a driving force. To be honest, you should be angry. You should be mad that you're not in the place where you wanna be. You should be mad that you didn't reach your goals yet. You should be mad that you can't get the things that you want. So this is me telling you that I want you to be angry. I want you to use that energy as a driving force to conquer the world. So all my guys, take advantage of your biological makeup and get mad. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to Sin Take, man. My name is Jay Sin, coming back with another one, man. And I had to show y'all that message from Kenny the Hippie, man. Shout out to Kenny the Hippie, man, because listen, that was a great spin that he put on anger. And listen, over here, one thing we know about is transmuting energy. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing that we know how to do. And there are several ways that you can do that. You know what I'm saying? There are several things that you can transmute. You know what I mean? Not just your sexual energy, but also anger. You know, and oftentimes we wake up, you know, in a bad mood. We wake up angry from certain situations. You be angry, you know, that you, you know, gotta, you know, stay on this journey. You be angry that you gotta get up so early. You know, sometimes we be angry about all types of things, but it's all about how you handle that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I tell you, bro, like, you know, uh, you know, your emotional intelligence has to be on point. You know, you go, you have to have control of that because, you know, we deal, we in a world where a lot of people, they, when they angry, they lash out and they do the wrong things because, you know, they don't have any type of emotional intelligence. They don't know how to handle that. So they gonna act it out instead of, you know, using that energy to level them up, using that energy to their advantage. You know what I'm saying? Using that energy for more power and strength. And that's exactly what you do when you able to transmute that. You know what I mean? That's exactly what we do when we transmute our sexual energy, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say, bro, we got to use this to our advantage because that's one of the most powerful energies that you can have. But if you allowing, you know, your anger to get the best of you, that's a different story because that could land you in a bad situation just like your sexual energy can. You know, just like you could go uh, do all of that chasing, all that simping, you know, you lose you know, track of who you are out here through sexual energy. You allow yourself to be taken over by demonic energy. You know what I'm saying? Because of that, you know, the same thing can happen with your anger, bro. If you're not using that right, then guess what? You could go out there and do something that you shouldn't have done. You know, you could go out there, rob, kill, you know what I mean? Burn all types of bridges, lose all types of opportunities and all of that shit because you let your anger get the best of you, you know? And it's just like when you in that, when you in that headspace, I done told y'all before, when you angry like that and you not, you know, you, you allowing that shit to just control you and take over you, your blood turns toxic. You know, so now you putting your health at risk because you're not handling your anger in a healthy manner, bro. So, you know, now you, you got high blood pressure. Now you, you, you know, you facing having a stroke or heart attack, which has been happening a lot lately. It don't even matter what age group, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you just got to be careful and conscious of these things because you don't want to be out here doing some shit that you didn't mean to do just because you was mad. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't want to be out here, bro, allowing, you know, these demons to take over you because you mad, you angry. So now, you know what I mean? You you kind of under the, 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 that demonic control and you already know once the demons got you and you emotional out here, then guess what? They gonna try to take advantage of that. You know what I mean? So they gonna have you out of here, out of your character, out of your body, doing shit that you don't even normally do. 
You know what I mean? And you know, acting out like how you don't even normally act. You don't walk around mad. You don't walk around mean mugging motherfuckers. You don't walk around ignoring people. You don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't do that. That's not you. You know, you vibrate high. Your frequency high. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and your mood is 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 something that you have control over. Even when you're not in a good mood, you still able to have control of that and get your job done. You know what I mean? You still able to have enough control over that to where you still productive. But you ain't gonna be able to do none of that shit when you allowing that shit to just take over you and possess you. You know what I'm saying? So we just gotta get better and learn how to use that shit. So that's why I wanted to share that with y'all. And because listen, we could transmute anything. You know what I mean? Negative energy. We could turn that shit to a positive. Sexual energy. We could use that to our advantage and, and take our whole fucking vibration and everything we doing to a new height. We could take it to a new height, but it's all about how you do it. And it really start up here too. You know what I'm saying? Not letting yourself stay in that space. Allowing yourself to feel that. Knowing when to meditate. You know? Knowing to ask God for the strength to get through. All of those things will come into play. And that's going to keep you in alignment. You know what I mean? That's going to help you not lash out and get out of your body and do something that's going to lower your vibration. Do something that's going to cut your blessings. You ain't trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? That 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 ain't going to get the job done. That's going that's not going to get you to where you trying to get to, you know, being emotional out here. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I know, you know, I talk, I talked about this cartoon a lot uh called uh, Miraculous that my daughter watched, but again, I'm just sitting there watching it and I'm like, yo, people don't even see the symbolism in there. You know, the people that get taken over by the bad guy, they always in the emotional state. The bad guy, you may as well say that that's the devil. That's these demons. And, you know, his name Hawk Moth. And when he sees somebody in distress that's, that's, that's angry about something, that's upset about something, that's sad about something, you know what I mean? And they just uh, an emotional wreck. That's when he will send one of the moths to take over their body and start doing bad shit, evil shit. You know what I mean? And inflicting pain on everybody that's around them because they going through what they going through. And the demons do the same thing. You know what I mean? The devil do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? The devil going to send the, 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 the moth, which is the demons, to get inside of them and take over them. And then they, hold, they got a whole transformation that happened to them where they turn dark. You know what I mean? And they wreak havoc on everything, bro. So you can't allow that to happen with anger, lust, jealousy, envy, any of that shit, bro. Nah. You know, instead, put up them blockers. Put up that force field. And that force field is the most high God. You know what I mean? And you, you call upon that through prayer. You know what I mean? You call upon that with, with using your mind and thinking first before you do shit. And not allowing things to constantly take over. Not allowing other people to even bring bad energy into your space. Because a lot of people going to try to trigger you too. You know what I mean? A lot of people want to be triggering you because they see how peaceful you are. You know what I'm saying? They see that the light is on you. They see you elevate. They see you doing good. So they going to bring that energy around you too. And you just can't allow it, bruh. You can't allow it. So that's just another thing that we need to get control over because, you know, it's, 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 it's normal. You know, we going to feel angry sometimes. We going to be upset about some things, you know, but it's all about how you handle that. And yes, you can transmute that and use it to your advantage. And guess what? Now you're going to be happy that you use that to a, in, a, in a positive way. You know what I mean? You use that shit in a positive way. And guess what? Whatever happened, that shit will fade away. You know, the people that tried to trigger you, they gonna be upset that you didn't that 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 you didn't even give them the reaction that they want. You know what I mean? We already know motherfuckers be trying to pray. Mugs be out here praying on your downfall. They wanna see you, you know, in a in a in a bad spot in your life. They don't wanna see you peaceful. You know what I mean? They wanna see you struggling. They want you to be on what they on. You know what I'm saying? They want you, we know we live in a world where they want you to feel how you feel. I mean, feel how they feel. 
And then they get upset when you don't. So don't give these motherfuckers the reaction that they want. You know, they be upset when you don't get them what they want. So don't get them to react. Listen, bro, don't give them the reaction, bro. They want you to do what they want to do. And then, and then they going to try to trigger you on every which way. But you can't let it happen. And even then, when, they, when it ain't got nothing to do with nobody and you just wake up in a certain mood, guess what? You still just go through your process because you're going to feel better after that. You wake up feeling angry about where you at, you know, you your, you know. You know, all of that shit, bro. You know, you're going to wake up feeling upset about all types of shit that's just out of place. You know, oftentimes we get impatient. We get impatient. We want what we want. But we got to continue to put work. A lot of these feelings is, is normal. You just got to uh, let it let it just flow through you and handle it in a healthy manner. Handle it, Handle that shit like a man. Because there's too many motherfuckers that's running around here throwing temper tantrums. And that's all it is. Because they not mature. You know, they don't have no control over their emotions. You know, so they want everybody to feel their pain, bro. But nah, bro, it's better ways to handle things. And all you do when you lashing out out there, bro, all you do is make yourself look crazy. All you do is make yourself look like a bitch. All you do is make yourself, you know what I mean, out here looking all feminine and shit like that, bro. You look like the girl because you handling your business like a hoe. You know what I'm saying? And, and when you emotional like that, understand that that's your business. Whether you happy, sad, up, down, you know what I mean, excited, that's all your business. That's all you. That's your vibration. You know what I mean? Whether that vibration is up or down, that's on you. So make sure that you handle that and do whatever it takes to get it to where you want it at because you got the power to do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't give the power to them. That's what they want. Don't give the power to the devil and the demons. That's what they want. What you think they're going to do with it? You think they're going to uh, you think they they going to raise your vibration? No. They not going to raise it. They going to try to lower that motherfucker as much as they can. Because they, they like seeing you uncomfortable. They like seeing you in distress. So anytime you angry and all mad and shit, you in distress. They like, look at this motherfucker. We got him. We got him mad. We got him upset. We got him angry. And now look. Now look at him. You know, we got him out of that space, bro. We got him out of that light. Now he looking dark now. He ain't looking how he usually look. He ain't got that energy that he usually has. You know, that's why you really got to keep the most high close, bro. All praises to the most high God. Keep the most high close. Because God know the type of energy that Muggs is having out here. That's Muggs is on. Muggs, the, the most high know the frequencies that they putting out to try to affect your mind. And lower your vibration. You know what I mean? The most high know that they just want to just drain your energy. So guess what? All you got to do is talk to God. I'm telling you, have a conversation, boom, you know, this going on. I woke up not feeling, you know, I just, I, you know, please just give me strength to help me through this. You know what I mean? Give me strength to help me through this. I don't want to feel like this. You know, I, I, I know I got a lot of stuff to do, you know, and that's it, bro. Just talk, say whatever. You ain't got to, you ain't even, you ain't got to be on your knees. You ain't got to be doing all of that. You know what I mean? God, the most high is within you. So just talk, talk. And before you know it, you didn't talk, you didn't talk yourself off that ledge. You didn't talk yourself out of trouble. You didn't talk yourself in a, in a higher vibration. You didn't talk yourself out of making mistakes. You know what I mean? You didn't talk yourself out of losing opportunities. You didn't talk yourself out of losing blessings. You know what I mean? Because guess what? You handle it. You, you handled that shit. Instead of just being so quick to react and allowing that shit to eat away at you. So use that anger. Like Kenny the Hippie said, to your advantage, bro. You know what I mean? Because everything is energy, bro. That feeling you feel, that's energy. So guess what, bro? That's more in your bank when you use it correctly. That's going to get you to where you trying to go. You know what I mean? That's going to have you accomplishing things because guess what? Now you got more energy and you're going to use it in a positive way, a grown-up way, not a kid way. All right? And that's my word, man. My name is JC and the CN Take. 
Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. First, I'ma get on my grind. Then, second, stop wasting my time. On shit less important. If ain't about money, I'm going the other direction. And third, I'ma do what I gotta to eat. Fourth, I'ma sew up the streets. Fifth, I'ma never quit dropping this heat. So, as long as I'm breathing, you better get used to me. Sixth, I'ma get.